Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and kung bago ka pa lang dito, my name is Sam, I do sewing and pattern making tutorial. For today's video, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano ginagawa yung pattern ng pajama. So yung pants ang papakita ko dito. So let's get started. Ito yung mga measurements na kailangan natin. Waist circumference, hip circumference, body rise or crotch depth, and then your desired hem circumference. Yung paper natin is 30 by 45 inches. So, fold lang natin siya sa gitna lengthwise. So, yung folded line na yan, mark natin yan. And then, after that, yung sa my right side, yun yung front natin. And then yung sa left side is the back part ng ating pattern. 3 inches from the edge ng ating paper, mark natin yung uh, mark A. And then from A to B is the pajama length. So, ang example ng pajama length natin is 38 inches. A to C is yung hip line natin, which is 8 inches down from A. 8 inches from point A. Then A to D is the crotch depth. We have 11 inches. And then square left and right, so my A, C, D, and B. Yung A natin is the waistline, then C is the hip line, D is the crotch line, and then the hem line sa B. Let's start sa front side ng ating pattern. So C to E is one fourth of hip measurement, which is 40 inches divided by 4, and that will be equal to 10 inches. From point E, square up and down, then mark G and F. So, ima mark mo na point G and point F. F to G is equal to one fourth hip measurement divided by four. So we have an example, 10 divided by 4, that is 2.5 inches. Then from point F, we square up 1.5 inches, then mark it I. Mark I. So, yan yung magiging curve guide nyo. So connect H and I using French curve. So, yung next natin is the hemline. So, yung from B to J, that's one half of hem circumference, which is 16 inches divided by 2, that is equal to 8 inches. So, connect J to point H with straight ruler. J to H, that's your inseam. Yan yung front pattern natin. Next is the back pattern. So for the back pattern, let's start from point C. C to K, 1 fourth of hips plus 3 fourths. So example is 10 plus 3 fourths, so that's 10 and 3 fourths inches. From K, square up and down. Then mark it point N and point L N and L okay. 
L to M is equal to 1 fourth of hips divided by 3. Sample 10 divided by, by 3. So that is 3 and 3 eighths. So L to M. And then from N mark in 3 fourth inch. Then mark O. So yung mark yun ng O yung minark in yun na 3 fourth. From O, square up one and a half inch. Mark nyo siya ng P. So, let's mark P. After that, mark point P to point L. With straight line. P to L. After that, cancel out na natin yung N, K, L line. From point L square up one and a half, then mark it point Q. So yan yung curve guide natin. So Q and M connect it with French curve. Point P to point A, connect niyo yung points na yan with straight ruler. Connect P to A, and then. Let's make the ham circumference of the back B to R, so that's one half of ham circumference, which is 8 inches. And then connect R to M with straight lines, so that's the inseam ng ating back. So check the inseam's length, so yung front and back should have the same length. So in this case, we have an excess of 3 8 inch. So 3 8 of an inch yung excess natin. So to minus that, ima mark down natin from point M. M, go down 3 8, then reshape the crotch curve. So you reshape niyo yung crotch curve. And that's it. So, add natin yung mga allowance. So, kung maglalagay ka ng elastic, the waistline should have a one and a half inches na allowance. And then, for the crotch and inseams, half an inch. And then, for the hemline or the hem, one and a half inches. So yung inad natin one and a half inch sa elastic is yun yung magiging casing ng ating garter. So that will be your um, casing or yung papasukan ng garter natin. Yung pattern na ito is walang out seam. So it's seamless sa out seam natin. Ang tanging may seam lang dito is yung sa may in seam part. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something new from this video. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with all of your friends and I'll see you next time. Bye!